Today we are going to discuss the revealed preference theory. It was uh, put forward by Professor Paul Samuelson. This theory is uh, mainly concerned with the study of consumer preferences. Uh, it's also known as behavioristic ordinal utility theory. Uh, it is based on ordinal utility analysis, that is uti uh, utility cannot be expressed uh, quantitatively but only qualitatively. Professor Samuelson said that in order to know the consumer preferences, we should analyze the purchasing behavior of the consumer with different prices and different income levels. So the consumers have a set of bundles or combinations of goods and they choose one combination which they like the best or that combination which is the cheapest. Now this theory states that when income elasticity of demand is positive, the price elasticity of uh, demand is negative. In simple w words, this means that if demand increases when income rises, demand must fall when price increases. So there's a positive relationship between income and demand and a negative relationship between price and demand. Uh, now we are going to discuss choice uh, reveals preference. So this theory of demand is based on the revealed preference uh, hypothesis. This hypothesis states that, uh, that choice reveals preference. So when a consumer buys one combination amongst a group of combinations, it is said to be revealed preferred to other combinations. For example, the consumer buys combination A uh, amongst four combinations, combination A, B, C and D. So it means that combination A is revealed preferred to other combinations B, C and D. And combinations B, C and D are revealed inferior to combination A. Uh, now we will try to understand this with the help of a graph. We have assumed that the income and prices of goods X and Y are given. You can see uh, there is an LM curve. The LM curve is the price income line of the consumer. It's also called a budget line. Uh, it basically shows the different combinations of two goods which can be purchased with a given money income and prices of two goods. The triangle OLM is the, tri uh, is the area of choice of the consumer. This means that the consumer can choose any combination that lies on the price income line LM or inside the triangle OLM. So in the graph, points A and B lie on the price income line LM. That is the consumer can choose those combinations. Similarly, points C and D lie inside the area of choice and they can also be chosen. However, if the consumer chooses these points, points C or D, uh, he would be underutilizing his uh, resources. Now you can see that point E lies outside our area of choice and it is therefore not an attainable combination. It uh, exceeds the income capacity of the consumer. So if the consumer buys uh, combination A, it is revealed preferred to combinations B, C and D. Uh, now we come to the assumptions. So the first assumption is if a consumer chooses a combination, it is said that he is revealing his preference for that combination. Next assumption, the tastes and preferences of the consumers do not change because if they keep changing, this theory will simply not work. Next assumption is that a consumer will always prefer a, con uh, a combination which has more goods as opposed to a combination with lesser amount of goods. Next assumption, uh, only one combination will be chosen at a given price income line. This means that if there is a change in the relative prices, the consumer will change his preferences. Next assumption, consumer's choice is based on strong ordering. Strong ordering means that the consumer reveals his definite preference for his choice of combination over all other combinations and uh, indifference between various combinations is simply ruled out. Next assumption is that if combination A is preferred to B in one situation and B then B cannot be preferred to A in any other situation. This is uh, known as consistency, uh, two-term consistency. 
नेक्स्ट एजम्पन इज दैट इफ कॉम्बिनेशन ए इज प्रेफर्ड टू बी एंड बी इज प्रेफर्ड टू सी देन वी सिंपली अज्यूम दैट कॉम्बिनेशन ए इज प्रेफर्ड टू कॉम्बिनेशन सी दिस अजम्पन इज नोन एज ट्रांजिटिविटी और थ्री टर्म कंसिस्टेंसी नेक्स्ट एंड द लास्ट अजम्पन इज दैट द इनकम इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ डिमांड इज पॉजिटिव दैट इज वेन द इनकम ऑफ द कंज्यूमर राइजेज द डिमांड ऑल्सो राइजेज एंड वाइस वर्सा नाउ लेट्स एनालाइज डिमांड थियोरम इन केस ऑफ राइज एंड इन केस ऑफ फॉल इन प्राइस we had discussed earlier that when income elasticity of demand is positive price elasticity of demand is negative that is if demand of a commodity increases when income rises demand must fall when the price of the commodity rises and vice versa so let's see what happens when price rises so we assume that there are two goods x and y and the consumer spends his entire income on these two goods uh, original price income line is uh, lm where the consumer chooses combination r since lm is the price income line uh, olm will become his area of choice now since we are analyzing the demand theorem in case of a rise in price let's assume that price of good x rises uh and the price of good y remains the same with this rise in price the new price income line will be ls now the consumer chooses combination a where he buys lesser quantity of good x and more quantity of good y than before now due to the rise in price of good x the consumer suffers a loss in his real income a loss in real income implies that there is no change in consumer's nominal income that is monetary income but you do due to a rise in price the consumer is able to buy less with the same nominal income so to compensate this loss in his real income we will give the consumer money but not in terms of uh, you know um like not in monetary terms but in terms of some amount of commodity y this compensation can be seen on the y axis um denoted by lp amount consequently pq will become the new price income line now we can see that pq is parallel to his previous income price income line ls and it passes through point r this has been called the over compensation effect by professor samuelson now opq will become the area of choice where the consumer will still choose his initial choice of combination which is combination r because of the consistency assumption uh, now let's see what happens when there is a fall in the price so again in the next graph lm is the original price income line where consumer chooses combination r so his area of choice will be uh, triangle olm now let's suppose price of x falls and price of y remains the same consequently the new price income line will be ls here the consumer chooses combination a now the area of choice will be triangle ols at point a consumer buys more of commodity x and less of commodity y than at point r why because of the fall in price of commodity x this movement from point r to point a is called the price effect uh then the fall in price of x will increase the real income of the consumer and if we take away this uh, increase in real income but again not in monetary terms in terms of uh lp quantity of good y then his new price income line will be pq we can see that pq is parallel to ls and it passes through point r again the area of choice will change that is triangle opq will be the new area of choice now since the consumer had revealed his preference for point r initially he will stick to the consistency assumption and not choose any point above r on the rp segment of line pq and also because uh, the price of x has fallen 
choosing any point above r would mean that the consumer is buying lesser quantity of x than before even though the price of x has fallen so this does not conform to the law of demand now the consumer can choose point r where he will buy the same quantity of goods x and y or he can choose any point below r like point b where he buys more of x and less of y this movement from point r to point b is called the substitution effect earlier we had taken away lp quantity of commodity y now if we return this to the consumer he will go back to his initial combination a where he buys more of combination x and less of combination y due to the price uh, due to the fall in price of x this movement from point b to point a is called the income effect so we've proved that when income elasticity of demand is positive the price elasticity of demand is negative now let's move on to the mcqs the first mcq is who propounded the revealed preference theory the answer is paul samuelson professor paul samuelson in 1938 propounded this theory next question is when income elasticity of demand is positive the price elasticity of demand is the correct ans answer is negative this means that if demand increases when income increases demand must fall when price falls so income elasticity of demand is positive as uh, demand increases when income increases and price elasticity of demand is positive as demand falls when price increases now next question is which of the following is an assumption of the revealed preference theory uh, the correct option is if combination a is preferred to b and b is preferred to c combination a is assumed to be preferred to c now this was our assumption of transitivity or three term consistency then next our last mcq is revealed preference theory assumes the correct option is strong ordering strong ordering uh, that is uh, revealed preference theory is based on strong ordering that is the consumer has a definite preference for choice of combination uh, over all the other combinations